It's not about picking stocks. It's about picking the right portfolio. When we start to see uh, non-farm payrolls go negative, you know, is that kind of the bottom of the cycle? Is that where we start thinking about the other side, the turn? Because you know, employment is a lagging indicator economically. Um, <clears throat> you know, what, yeah. what are your th- sort of thoughts on that? Although, could it come in a period of time where inflation is still quite elevated as well? Yeah, so the way I sort of think about this is that um, when initial jobless claims are at a level below 300,000, you're not going to see the unemployment rate go up. Uh, You need need claims really to get up into the 350 uh, level or thereabouts. When that happens, you'll start to see unemployment uh, ticking higher. Um, You know, as far as when the cycle actually is bottoming out, uh, I think there's a lot of different ways to think about that. Um, at least thinking about, you know, the GFC, uh, initial jobless claims had an uncanny uh, or uncannily accurate uh, print. So if you remember the trough uh, back in, you know, I want to say it was either the 7th or the 8th or the 9th of March 2009 was the low. Um, that week, that that week that initial jobless claims posted was the first week in which that number actually uh, got less bad on a week over week basis. So, you know, just absolutely, you know, um, right on the screws in terms of, you know, the, the low in the market coinciding with the the high watermark from an initial jobless claim standpoint. So it's not to say that that's exactly going to repeat, but I think in terms of thinking about, you know, the low, it's, it's not necessarily just the data itself, but also obviously what's the sort of policy backdrop, right? What's the uh, monetary policy uh, backdrop dynamic? Because as you said, if you've got unemployment rising and you've got inflation still at a level that's considered unacceptable, uh, you're unlikely to see the Fed uh, moving uh, off of its you know, hawkish stance, assuming that we haven't had a, a crisis up until that point. So I, I think that's probably going to be, uh, you know, certainly well through this year and probably into uh, into next year. Okay. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.